Hey folks, my name is Andy and you're listening to Life in the Bear Cave, a podcast about Andy Bundy, his community and whatever else I want to talk about. So we're going to switch things up a little bit and we're going to try and do, I'm going to try and get some guests in here. And the very first, well, I've had one guest before. I had Obi-Wan 362 on the podcast and that was a couple months ago or longer. And I was just thinking, who do I want to talk to? Who do I want to kind of pick their brain and chat a little bit. And so I decided to bring in my friend, Joey Blue Jay. Joey, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. What's going on, people? <laughs> uh, and so I'm, I'm going to try a different setup than what we're used to. So obviously this is probably going to be very different than any of our previous podcasts. But um I just wanted to bring Joey on. If you guys don't know Joey, Joey is my emote artist. He's kind of the guy who helped me come up with the Bundy Bear emotes that are on my Twitch and Discord channels. Um, so Joey, can you just kind of tell me a little bit about yourself, kind of what it is you do, and we'll go from there. So I guess I guess what I'd say I do online is uh, I, I do a lot of art. I, I, I think that kind of sums it up. I have a channel called Blue Jay Gaming, but there's a lot of art content on there. <laughs> um, Is that Twitch yeah, or YouTube? I, uh, it's my YouTube. Okay. I do have a Twitch channel though, uh, but I don't use it. So, um, but yeah, I've been on on the interwebs for God, I think maybe eight years, nine, nine years. I think we talked. I, I think know, it, it was about that time. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just it's it's crazy. Like I, I my whole YouTube career has kind of been gaming and now I've kind of gone more in the art side. Um uh last couple of years I've just been doing art for people and yeah. Like you hit me up, we did the Bundy Bear and now we're here. <laughs> yeah, now we're here. Um yeah, it's been kind of crazy. It was I, we were just talking before we started recording. Um, I just randomly hit Joey up probably three years ago at this point. Um, we were in a yeah, it was about it was 2017. It was um, one of my one of our mutual friends, uh, Chris Cross Media. He was where I'm in his discord and we were just chatting at one point and I was randomly messaged Joey and we became friends and I was like hey do you do commissions by the way I like your art style so um I have this idea and we kind of ran with it it was amazing uh if you've seen the Bundy Bear stuff at all you know what I'm talking about the art is great (laughs) yes it'll look at it (laughs) but uh and then (laughs) we uh we got into this uh we we talk off and on a yeah. lot and uh all uh, if you've looked at my subscriber emotes i have i think four at this point yeah that so are four five. i well, think it's four the regular the hype the sad the and sad the and really yep i had the scared one you had me do that i had you do that for the uh halloween one that i did last year yes. but that wasn't an emote that was just a uh picture it by itself yeah. yeah um and I'm it's working crazy though. three years. Has it, isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, pretty happy with how it's turned out though. And kind of very thankful for our friendship here and looking forward to see what is um, on the horizon. I know. I don't know if I've re- released it at the time of this um, podcast, but I know we're working on a little bit of a rebrand and, and mm-hmm. I'm pretty excited about how it's turning out, and I love it so much. I love it so much too. <laughs> can I can I ask you what kind of gave gave you that inspiration for that? You know, I'm not sure. Uh, I was kind of just messing around, and um, when I hopped, was it was it just in your Discord? But the review, I think, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you had that review done of your mm-hmm. Twitch, yeah, and. It's always kind of bugged me about your like, what do you call it? The puzzle background. Like I love the puzzle theme, but something about it—it it wasn't popping for me. Do you, I'm you, like, know, we, do you know what that? Do you know what that is? 
You, you said it was from Banjo yeah. Nuts and Bolts, right? Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts in the Showdown Town area, right on the floor, there is a jiggy pattern. And a long time ago, like I'm saying, like 20, 2009, 2010, I found that um, texture file online and I have it with on my phone, or not on my phone, mm-hmm. on my desktop. And just all I did was put like a blue filter on it and called it a day. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so I I was like, I want to stick with this puzzle theme. I'm like, and I was looking at your channel. I'm like, let's go 90s or like arcade feel with it. So then you you were like, what about this? And I'm like, I love it. <laughs> so so we went with like this pattern inspired like theme, and I it, I love it so much. I love it. It, it came I, out so well. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping in the next week or so to release it. So. If it's not released by the time this podcast is published, look for it in the next week or so. (laughs) Yeah, stay tuned. Um, Okay, so we've got the history. We've got a little we've talked a little bit about Joey. And I one thing I really wanted to talk about, especially in this um, podcast, just kind of delving into the minds of other creators. And the one question that I wanted to ask, especially Joey as a content creator yourself, how would you define success as a content creator? Huh. You know, I I think the the biggest or like mo- number one thing of being successful is kind of building that community. I, mm-hmm. I think I think that's the biggest thing. Like if you, if you have that community built, you're good. Like you you have people who are going to be behind you. I mean, look at PewDiePie. I, I, I think he's like the biggest like. Th- he shows that community is the most important thing. Uh, if if he didn't have that community, I don't think he'd be over a hundred million subscribers right now. I can agree with you that. You know, mm-hmm. and um, I mean, look at all the controversies he went through. If he didn't have that community, he wouldn't be here still. Yeah, he would have been kicked off the platform. Uh, it is interesting. He would have been chased off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it would have been so different. Um, but no, I, I really do think community is the number one thing for success. Just anywhere. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook Live, uh, Twitch. If you have that group of people who are willing to watch you, whatever you do, I think that's success right there. I can agree with that. Um, it's kind of interesting because I know like I'm working on trying to do things to bring in a community and try and fest foster that relationship foster. Mm -hmm. Um, like for example, sat Friday night, Friday night where I did a, uh, discord movie night in my discord channel. We watched, um, Howl's moving castle. And then oh, okay. we were all we we all decided, you know, we're still we're still up. Let's let's watch Spirited Away too. And then we just kinda hung out, kinda chatted about the movie while we were watching it. It was kinda nifty uh-huh. and kinda having that community. Cause what I I think a lot of people forget as streamers, yes, you're the face of that community, but you like like you said about PewDiePie, if you don't have someone to bounce stuff off of or you don't have that community with you, I'm have to say what's the point of being a creator at that point yeah um like yes you have you have some good stuff but if there's no one there to appreciate it it's kind of like you know if the tree falls in the forest and nobody's there does it make a sound kind of thing if a creator creates and nobody's there to see it (laughs) um did he actually make it exactly (laughs) and that might might be you know somewhat controversial but that's kind of where my my brain is at this point um (laughs) (laughs) I know, I know, like, I follow, I follow this Switch streamer. He goes by the name of Fish um, mm-hmm. on Twitch. He is, I'm, I'm, I really love watching this stuff. But in, if you sit into his stream and if you chat in there, I know a lot of his people who watch are lurkers, but a lot of the people that are regulars in there, it's kind of a cheers kind of thing where you come in and everybody's like, oh, hey, Andy, and... I go and be like, hey, Anthony, hey, Beth, hey, X, Y, Z. And we all kind of know each other and we're all kind of there. And even though we're here because Fish is doing that, I feel like I can be part of that community and everybody's welcoming when I come in. And that's kind of something that I aspire to when I'm making my community 
in my Discord channel, in my YouTube channel, in my Twitch streams. And just I I love the connections that I make during these things. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just like ma- making those friendships like with you and with some of my mods like Falco or even my IRL friends like Obi and Adges and just – it's amazing to me just kind of how small the world is. <laughs> um, I don't know if you have um, paid attention, like if we've talked about it, like my, one of my mods, Falco Flyer, he is a, um, I didn't know him until I raided him once for a Splatoon stream, like when I started streaming again. And mm-hmm found out that he lived over or down where my best friend from high school was teaching. Well, and so what? kind yeah, and so we kind of got this really close thing where I got he got to meet my best friend from high school and we've kind of met and then all of a sudden we found out that his um his wife's grandmother used to live in the town where I live. <laughs> so we kind of had this like meeting uh last year or two years ago where he, he they just came and visited and I got to meet Falco um IRL which was amazing and then we've kind of become good friends since then. And just the mind that that's why we start we started because of Twitch and that community and it's it's blowing my mind how much like <sighs> How do you, how do I word that? Again, how small the world is, I guess. Yeah. So you, you know, what's crazy is, Hmm. um, years ago, I would say probably, God, was it, was it three years ago? Yeah. So three years ago, there, there was nothing like all, all of like my channel, everything. I had like 10 viewers. I had 27 subscribers for years. Mm-hmm. Nothing nothing was going right. I didn't know what I was doing wrong. Uh, one day I posted art on Twitter of two two channels I was huge fans of. There was Lamar Wilson and Black Nerd Comedy. I posted fan art of them out there on Twitter just being like, oh, maybe they'll see it. And someone messaged me saying, hey, can you do this art for me? And I went... Sure. Why not? Uh, it was Christian Mata, who was one of the original name. members of Crisscross Media. Yes. OK, OK, OK. Yes. So he he hit me up. I did art for him and me and him were talking like how me and you do. Mm-hmm. Uh, we decided to meet up for VidCon the next year. Um, and that's when I met Chris. And like everything just kind of started rolling from there. And now I'm here like that same year I met Chris, I met you and like the whole, I just got wrapped up in the community and like, now I'm here. <laughs> like, it's it is. just, it's so crazy. Like, uh, I don't like everything's just so small. Like it's just a small world. It's, yes. it's insane. Like just, you get wrapped up in the community and you just start meeting people and, it's I love it. <laughs> yeah, um, like, it is crazy. And I will I will refrain from uh, singing the Disney song that could potentially get us uh, taken down. But <laughs> <laughs> as a. I guess. I'm, I'm curious, pick your brain a little bit. So what would you consider like. Your future, like if there was a future goal, like maybe not a maybe a big picture one, maybe just a, uh, for, for you as a creator, what is it something that you want to see done in the next year or so just kind of for yourself? Um, for myself. Yes. <laughs> um, so I, I have some goals that I really want to hit. Mm-hmm. I want to, I want to get back into the YouTube game because I feel like I haven't been uploading for over a year now. <laughs> I think it's time to get back. Um, mm-hmm. So hopefully I can make some cool content. I know I was throwing around some ideas to you the other day. Oh, for sure. Yeah. About like some art videos and maybe even going back to some gaming. Um, 
but I one thing I really do hope um, in the next year is hopefully hitting a thousand subscribers. Okay, I, I think that's that's my goal. <laughs> that's <laughs> Which, achievable. It's like it's like I, it took so many years just to hit a hundred. I just hit two hundred after mm. two years. So I don't know. I'm hoping I can hit that within the next year. I hope uh, I can expand or create a community of people who appreciate everything. And I don't know. That's what I'm hoping for in the next year. Definitely. Yeah. I'm working on my own goals myself. And I'm, tr- I think the hardest part for me is trying to figure out which platforms I want to focus on because part mm-hmm. of me, if I had time, I'd be streaming to, or I'd be like, making content for everything but i'm realizing especially being a brand manager for five or six brands for my full-time job and the the amount of time and work that goes into that it's insane Mm -hmm. and i can't you can i'm having trouble with four um at work i i do facebook twitter instagram youtube and i leave it at that because any more than that it's either not going to be effective or it's just going to be like I'm going to burn myself out either way. It would not be good, mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, um, no. yeah, that's kind of, so um, more importantly, if anybody wants to find you on social media, where should they go? So if you want to find me, uh, I would recommend hitting up my Instagram or probably my Instagram or my YouTube. Go hit those up. Okay, Blue what are, Jay Gaming. Blue Jay Gaming on both Instagram and YouTube? Yes. Okay. And on Twitter it is also. I I am everywhere at Blue Jay Gaming. That so is, whatever platform you're on, I am there. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. I know I've try I've been trying, working hard on getting Andy Bundy on every platform, but go ahead go figure. That's really hard to do. Surprisingly. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I uh, like I uh I originally had Blue Jay as like the thing I was trying to get everything. And I'm like, oh, this isn't working. So I had to add gaming onto it. And then I was able to just grab every tag. I'm like, okay, that works. Yeah. I guess this is my brand now. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but besides Blue Jay, I've been working on this project called Team 8 Bit for the last year now. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a podcast, uh, we have a YouTube channel that we've been working really hard on. Hopefully some more content is coming soon on there. But right mm-hmm. now I'm posting all the old podcast episodes that have been building up on iTunes. I see that. So um, go check those out. But <laughs> And I guess, give uh, can you tell us a little bit about what Team 8-Bit is and kind of explain that? I forgot to mention that earlier. <laughs> I forgot to mention it too. Uh <laughs> Uh, so Team 8-Bit is this project I've been working on for seven years mm-hmm. uh, since I kind of created my own channel. Um, but basically, it's a channel or kind of group where a bunch of friends come together and talk about movies, games, TV, whatever is the biggest topic out there right now. Like a lot of us are big Marvel fans or Nintendo fans. So that's kind of what we really talk about uh last couple episodes we've been talking about the the coronavirus so mm-hmm. that's, that's kind of been the biggest thing right now cuz we can't do anything else there's yep. nothing really going on but it's basically just a bunch of friends sitting around just talking about random things and it's just i i see it as like if you're listening to the podcast i want you to feel like you're just sitting around with a couple friends talking Mm -hmm. that's my goal with it and i hope i know andy you listen to it oh yeah i hope that's what you feel like when you're listening to the podcast oh definitely (laughs) (laughs) i i get that that's my goal with it i do i do enjoy listening to their podcast that's one of the like few podcasts that i actually listen to and uh you guys go into some interesting topics there Um, we do (laughs) (laughs) but uh, uh Yeah, so definitely check out Joey. Um, is there anything else you want to add? I know we're we're getting around the twenty minute mark, so it's a Are little. We really? Yeah, we're getting. We just started talking, and you know, it just kept going. It doesn't <laughs> feel like it's been that long. I know. Oh my right? gosh. Um. Yeah, but 
biggest thing, please go check out Team 8 Bit. It's my passion project I've been working on for so long. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's all I wanted to say. It's, I, I'm I'm having fun right now creating some content. So good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. And um, so I guess we'll just we'll go ahead and wrap up. Just I want to thank you, Joey, for sitting in here and chatting with me for a little bit. And I wanted to uh, thank everybody for listening and be looking out for more podcast episodes. I think I'm starting to get a kind of a hang of what I want to see in this podcast. And I know there's some people who listen to it. Um, I'm going to actually make a podcast channel in my Discord, which I should have done a while back and I haven't done yet. And then if you have any questions or comments about the podcast, feel free to leave them in the podcast channel in Discord. Um, I Thanks also, for having me on. Oh, though. yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you for coming in. I greatly appreciate you and everything that you do work wise. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening, and we will see you in the next episode. Talk to you later. All right. We'll see you later. <laughs>